Hey guys, it's Zach here, and today we've got another great piece of Hong Kong cinema to check out. Brought to us on Blu-ray by Eureka Entertainment. Sao Fu Fei Lung, Skinny Tiger, Fatty Dragon. The 1990 buddy cop action comedy directed by Lau Kar Wing and starring Sammo Hung alongside Carl Maca. With plenty of fighting, joking, and a deceptive blend of the two, this film is a roller coaster of ups and downs. We've got a great release from Eureka to check out, but before we get to unboxing our copy, let's talk a bit about the film itself. Skinny Tiger Fatty Dragon follows two cops, colloquially known as Fatty and Baldy. They often work undercover and are known for their over-the-top methods and aggressive deceptive antics. The story for the film is a simple premise that makes for a great foundation, supporting the spectacle of action and comedy. Known for their lunacy in both the lawful world and the criminal underground, our two leads carry out their day-to-day -day investigations with utter disregard, as they're currently tracking down the source of a larger drug trafficking ring. Using their skills to follow the criminal ladder, Fatty and Baldi must work to uncover who is behind the recent rise in smuggling activity. And really, that's it. There are some side stories to be had in order to give our characters more background and interest, but otherwise it's a basic premise that allows for a flexible array of scenes and events, and our leads definitely make the best of it. As Fatty and Baldi progress through their investigation, they come across all sorts of inane situations, pushing back in response with equal amounts of crazy. They're violent, profane, and crude, but ultimately hilarious, like Jackie Chan's police story only turned up to 11. If I didn't know any better, I would think they already found the cocaine and are taking it themselves just to keep up. This movie is fast-paced, it's highly engaging, and our two leads play off each other with wit and charm making for an overall hilarious time. On top of that, the fights are intense and even brutal in moments, the gunplay is used appropriately while still allowing the hand-to-hand -hand combat to shine, and of course Sammo Hung brings his kung fu skills to the table. I will however bring up my one major flaw with this movie, and that's the second act. While the first and last thirds of the film are fast-paced and engaging in both the writing and the choreography, the middle section just hits a brick wall. We go from non-stop goofy action to our leading duo being sent on vacation and eventually quitting altogether to open a karaoke bar in Singapore. It makes for some great comedic scenes and maybe even some drama, but the time spent is a definite drop-off in an otherwise intensely paced film. Overall, however, Skinny Tiger Fatty Dragon is a must-watch for fans of Hong Kong action cop cinema. It feeds the need for martial arts action while giving a fast-paced comedic performance. Check it out for yourself, and until then, we've got a physical release from Eureka to check out. It comes with some great supplements, digitally and physically. So let's head on over and unbox our copy. Here we are with Eureka Entertainment's limited edition release of Skinny Tiger, Fatty Dragon. It comes in a standard slipcover, featuring some eye-popping artwork by Darren Wheeling. All of the release information is on the back, and underneath is our clear case, featuring an alternate artwork on the sleeve. If we open it up, we'll find two Blu-ray discs on the right, as well as a booklet on the left. The first disc houses everything to do with Skinny Tiger Fatty Dragon, and the second disc is a limited edition bonus and actually features the 2019 documentary film I Am the White Tiger. If we circle back to the booklet, we'll find that it runs 24 pages cover to cover, and features an article from film critic, historian, and filmmaker James Oliver. He writes about Sammo Hung's career, and the events leading to his eventual breakup with Golden Harvest. Sammo Hung went on to join Carl Maca and Lau Kar Wing in making several productions instead, eventually making Skinny Tiger Fatty Dragon. On top of the article itself, there are a few pages showcasing various posters for the film. With that, however, we can round out the unboxing by noting that the sleeve for our Blu-ray case is indeed reversible, featuring another poster work option on the opposite side. All in all, a fantastic physical copy from Eureka. With much more to check out, let's go see what all is included on the discs. Skinny Tiger Fatty Dragon is presented in HD alongside both the original Cantonese mono audio and the English dub, with either the original mono or 5.1 audio options. Alongside the film itself, we also have two brand new audio commentary tracks to listen to. The first features Asian film expert Frank Jang alongside martial artist Bobby Samuels, and the second features action cinema experts Mike Leader and Arna Venema. 
Up front, if you keep up with my Hong Kong cinema reviews, you'll know already how much I'll praise Jang, Leader, and Venema in their commentaries. All three bring their own voice to the conversations, and all of their movie knowledge in tow, keeping the listens both engaging and entertaining. I highly recommend watching these audio commentary tracks for those rewatches. With the feature presentation aside, Eureka continues to dole out the supplements with a selection of video bonuses to check out. Starting us out is a trio of interviews, two archival and one new. Up first is an archival video interview running 25 minutes long with director and actor Lau Kar Wing, who not only directs, but plays the main villain in Skinny Tiger Fatty Dragon. He shares about his early interests in martial arts and performing in general, eventually going on to talk about his career involving Sammo Hung and Carl Maka, about the differences in filming today versus back then, and about Skinny Tiger Fatty Dragon as a production itself. A great interview for fans of Lau Kar Wing's work. Our second video interview, running just under 20 minutes long, features actor, stuntman, and action choreographer Ridley Tsui. He shares a bit about his Beijing opera upbringing, moving into a stuntman role when he was 12. Many of the folks from this era of Hong Kong action filmmaking basically dedicated their life to the craft, and it's interesting to hear Tsui share about his experiences in working as a stuntman, going on to focus on Skinny Tiger, Fatty Dragon, and his role within. Rounding out the interviews is our third and final, which is a six-minute audio interview recorded in 2021 with stuntman, action director, and martial artist Mark Houghton, who appears in the film as a henchman. Though the audio quality isn't the best, and the video overall is quite short, Houghton shares as much as he can about his experience in shooting the film, especially the movie's climax. With the interviews aside, we can round out the main disc and collection extras with an English release trailer for Skinny Tiger Fatty Dragon, as well as an extended fight scene originally exclusive to the Taiwanese cut of the film. With that, however, we've nearly covered Eureka's release and can complete it with our final supplement held entirely on the second limited edition disc. It's an 80-minute documentary titled I Am the White Tiger, originally released in 2019 and directed by Chu Li. I Am the White Tiger is a documentary film telling the story of legendary stuntman, action director, and martial artist Mark Houghton, whom we had the audio clip interview with earlier. If you're interested in a full review of this documentary, let me know down below in the comments. Otherwise, I won't go too much into it here, but it's awesome to have this included alongside our feature film, and it's certainly drawing for any fan of kung fu cinema. With that, however, we've now completed our review of Eureka Entertainment's Blu-ray release of Skinny Tiger Fatty Dragon. I really enjoyed the zany blast of adrenaline that the film provides, and highly recommend it for fans of 80s and 90s cop movie action thrillers. With some great performances and martial arts choreography, fans of kung fu cinema won't feel left out either. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of the film, and what release you're looking forward to next. Thanks again for joining me here once more in Pajama Theater, and like this video and subscribe to support the channel. Until then, thanks again, take care, and I'll see you next time.